Welcome everyone. In my previous video you saw that how you can download and install Kali Linux from the official website in your Windows 10 operating system using VirtualBox. Now in this video you will see how you can download and install Parrot security operating system using VirtualBox and this method will work in Windows 10, Linux and Mac operating system. You can uh, have any operating system. First you should install VirtualBox and VirtualBox extension pack in the operating system that you are currently using. If you are using Mac, Linux or Windows, first you should install VirtualBox and then extension pack. Then you can go ahead and download and install either Kali Linux and Parrot Security Operating System or you can try both. So let's start. I have already installed VirtualBox. My base operating system is Linux. As I have mentioned earlier, you can install VirtualBox in Kali Linux. In Linux, any Linux, Windows or Mac operating system right now i am using linux and i have already installed virtualbox now i will show you how we can download parrot security operating system from the official website we'll just go to google and type parrot security and press enter and we'll have this parrotsec.org we'll just go inside we'll click this is the official website of parrot security operating system we'll just go to downloads scroll down and what we are looking for is Parrot Security OVA and we'll click on direct download it started downloading it's around 5.2 GB so it will take some time I have already downloaded this file so I'll just cancel and I will show you guys how we can start importing and using Parrot Security operating system in this video so I have already downloaded. I'll go to file and then import appliances. In local machine I have to go to choose the file OVA file that I have already downloaded. It is in my downloads folder. You can see that parrot security 4.10 virtual.ova extension. I'll just highlight this and then open the file. and here there is an option you can see uh, below there is a option to click or you can just press enter then it will go to the appliance settings just one thing i need to change will go with the default but the only one thing i need to change is the cpu because i don't have much cpu power so i'll just change it to one and the rest will just go with the default and click enter you can see that after that you can see a software license agreement just scroll down and then click on agree and it will start importing the virtual disk image of parrot security 4.10 and it will import and extract into dot vm dx it will import and then it will be ready so the other option you have if you don't want to import you can also use 7-zip and then right click and extract here or extract to a specific folder and then after extracting the .ova file you will get a .vmdx file that you can install so this is the easiest method I think like whatever you find it easier you can go ahead you have two options here it will take some time this five percent but after it is done then we are good to go we can go ahead and start the virtual machine and then it will boot will be inside parrot security operating system and then i'll show you a little about parrot security you should know linux terminal commands then you will be comfortable and if you don't know you can google and search about basic linux command and you will be good to go i will pause the video and i will be back when uh, import is done or oh, importing 
is complete now you can see that i have another virtual machine another operating system under kali linux 2020 i have parrot security operating system so just maximize this one and you can see when you log in when we start and try to log in then it will be a low privilege user we can type sudo command su for a higher privilege we'll go for the first option and you can press enter or otherwise if you wait it will automatically take you can close this by clicking the cross it is starting it is booting you can as you can see some errors were displayed earlier that you can ignore now i am in the login prompt parrot user login screen but it is not showing full screen so i'll just click on this button restore button click once and click once more it's not working let me log in first and try to okay i'm in full screen mode it's asking parrot updater you can ignore this you can just click close by clicking the cross button and then it will there might be a pop-up it will ask you to update you just select no because we will later manually update this operating system with the help of command prompt as you can see we are inside parrot security operating system the top here you can see mate terminal use the command line if you click once it will open and you can see that this is user parrot virtual and like i said there is a prompt pop-up question do you want to check for updates i will just press no because it will take time and we will prefer uh, updating it with uh, here in the command prompt by typing apt first we have to type apt update to update the package index but as you can see there is some error because we are logged in as a low privilege user to run this command we need higher privilege like root user 